This is really like beachy, isn't it? Found a random pub. Can I get some lunch? It's got a dog, which is great. Yeah. What would you say the dog's name is? Bernie. Bernie. No, he's not. It's not Bernie. Uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yes, that's so. Darren. Just found out the dog's actual name. He's called Bruno. Bruno. Train, train, train. It's a French train, no German, Stendhal. Train on the road. Someone like you, where you bought a bus, has bought a train instead. I did want the train, to be fair. Did you? You should have bought that. Greetings to the lucky finder of this. And it's not a lucky finder because you paid two pounds for the privilege. They've spelled you, yo. In your wildest dreams, yo could not imagine. <laughs> the whole thing is just a prop to make kids, like, happy. It wants me right make... up. The magic of the film is lost if every Wonka bar you buy has a golden ticket that is absolutely meaningless. By including a golden ticket with every single one that you buy, it completely devalues it. It undermines the credibility of the film. Hello. Hi. So we found an unadopted road which actually has a sign that says, use at your own risk. It's really random. It doesn't look that risky. Also, it said it was unadopted and it absolutely is adopted. Yeah. These are the most adopted, unadopted roads I've ever seen. Horses up there. Bird. I'm not saying everything Stop needs to be sugar coated. Happy. I'm saying this one. I think you are. No, I'm really not. I'm saying this one example where someone just you buy chocolate to make your kids happy. So if anything's going to make no, them slow, you, you don't you don't buy them with a little bit of disappointment. Okay, that comes with it. It's not disappointing. You get a whole Wonka bar. No, no. What I'm saying is, if if one what person got a ticket and the other one didn't, for the ticket. even if you're like three years old, I think you can still appreciate. The principles of gambling. Can you? Yeah. Can you though? <laughs> oh, you bastard. Penny over. Jacob? Yes? Lucy said you want some tricks, so. Yeah. Congratulations. I went to utilise the little pocket on this cup, which lets you. Put, hold your biscuits in there. But the biscuit I chose to eat is just the right size to slot down inside, and I've lost it. Out of all those milkshake flavours, what's your least favourite? Uh, probably say cucumber. Really? Got a Mikado, whatever they're called. Yeah, we've got one. Sorry, I still have to try and get rid of all the corner levels. If in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, everyone that bought a bar of chocolate won a ticket to the factory, that the, it'd be like absolutely overrun. <laughs> like even museums that have free entry at least have someone on the door going, no, there are too many people in here. Like one in, one out policy, yeah, exactly. they have to adopt yeah. that like Hollister. Yeah. Please down that student Yeah, so it should be like Ashley Student <laughs> Union, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, oh, so yeah. in conclusion, wrong. Eclipse Plus. That's what it's called. It's a curvy phone, it's not right. No one has a house designed to make that fit unless you live in the future, which you obviously don't. Paul Jones is on all the lines. Yeah, he's a really busy man. <laughs>